anticipated shoe release ever. 23 is the magic number. It's definitely special. Uh, 23 stores nationwide. Each of the 23 stores will get 23 pairs of shoes. That's the limited edition Air Jordan number 23, the last numbered pair in the series. And it's being released 23 days before MJ's birthday. Shoe Gallery is the only store in the state of Florida to get the shoe, one of just 23 in the nation. And for the big occasion, they wrapped it up. We're giving the sneaker a nice warm welcome. We gave it a little wallpaper wrap up to say, you know, this is the spot where this shoe is going to be. An extremely hot commodity. Diehard fans have been camping out for days, lining up at the downtown Miami store. It's at 6 in that morning, Monday. I haven't left since. Okay, so this isn't the first time you've done this, right? Nah, but not for this long. I was anxious. I thought it was people from out of state going to come over here. Atlanta is the next closest location where you could even hope to score a pair. These are devoted fans of Michael Jordan. They love the sneaker. They love the story, the hype. This is what it's all about. Here's a closer look at the Jordan 23. It's got a thumbprint, signature, and every pair is numbered. So the 23 is very, very special. Why? Very, very for, special. for someone who can't understand it, can you explain it? It's Jordan. First of all, who... Everybody knows Jordan. It's 23 stores, as you already know, 23 pairs per store. So it's 529 pairs worldwide. So you could just imagine these kids are here, they're going to be one of 529 to have these shoes. The sneaks retail for 230 bucks a pair, and while other colors of the shoe will eventually be released for the masses, these are the ones Jordan fans want in titanium university blue. There's only 529 pairs. Only store in Florida with them. Gotta have them. I have no choice but to get it. That's why they're sleeping outside until they officially go on sale Friday. It's not about the money. It's about getting the shoe to the kid who's out here making it happen. So how do you keep the kicks clean? I just baby wipe it down and ready to go. Sounds like a plan. Aubrey Aquino for Deco Drive.